Hi everyone. I know it's been a long time. Um, if the sound is really bad on this video, it's because it's been so long since I filmed that I can't find the microphone that goes to my camera. Actually, too, this is the receiver that I attach to my uh, camera and I can't find the microphone for the life of me. I always leave it on my desk when I'm done, but for some reason it's not here. So we'll just have to make do because I can't find the other three sets that I have. I've packed them away somewhere. All right, so today I have a box from my dear friend, Karamia's Corner, um, or rather, um, what was it again? Confessions with Karamia, I think. I don't know that she changed the, uh, the name of her channel. Anyways, sorry, Clarissa. Um, she sent me this. This is like a, it's like a belated Christmas gift slash um, stuff that I asked her to get me while she was in Japan. So let's go through the box. I'm going to just put it down here. I'm sorry if my desk is a little messy here. I had to clear it off really quickly so that I could film this. It's part of the reason why I haven't been filming is because this filming desk has been so messy because I've been putting other stuff here. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm pulling out. So she surprised me and got me this little Starbucks gift. It's so cute. It's a mini, um, mini Starbucks cup, okay? And, um, you know, I do collect the Christmas ornaments and um, I've been collecting them for a number of years. Um, I don't think I got them from last year because they just didn't really appeal. I don't know what's going on with Starbucks. I preferred when they were putting out the cups like this. I could really don't give a shit about like the um, tumblers and other ones that they've been putting out. But I did get two of them um, on clearance because I'm not paying whatever they're charging now, $14 or whatnot for those. Um, but I did pick up two of them after Christmas. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, so I forgot where she said she got this with Starbucks, but this one comes with a little um, tiny candy. Okay, it's the New Year's cup and this is supposed to be a Buddha, I believe. If you can see that. And of course it has the Darumas on here with the little lucky cat and um, suck. I think this is supposed to be Sakura and you know, other stuff on there. And then of course it's got the little um, instructions in Japanese. So I'll probably Google translate those later to see what that means. So it's just a cute little cup. You know, you can put it on your desk, store stuff in it, but I probably won't store anything came with this little pouch and a little little sleeve. Isn't that cute? I'm not going to take it out. Of course, it says right here, enjoy any Starbucks size beverage, any size. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a coupon or something, but I'll find out. And then this cute little pouch um, it says Starbucks. So yeah, that was a surprise. Thank you, Clarissa. I love it. I do like Starbucks. I don't drink it that often because it's ridiculously overpriced. So um, yeah, I I can't really bring myself to pay seven, eight dollars for a drink. I used to work and manage a cafe in San Francisco <clears throat> before I started working with Clarissa. So yeah, I kind of appreciate local coffee rather than chain coffee. So the next one we have here is, um, these are cookies that she got for me to share with my parents. Um, <clears throat> and they are um, chocolate fav flavored. So I think, yeah, it says on here and I don't have my readers, whipped chocolate sandwiched uh, with cookie and I can't read that, it's so light. But I'm very eager to try this. Thank you, Clarissa. Because uh, she knows I like anime. She thought this was really cute and I think it is too. I love that she's got a little guitar. This one I believe is from Dollar Tree, okay. So pulling out the next bag here, look at this. Now this is a New Year's card, okay? And let's pull it out. Little note, I'm not gonna let you, <laughs> just to show really quickly, but this, I love this. I'm gonna put it up on my little um, bulletin board, okay? And let's see what this is, where it's from. I mean, obviously this is from Japan. This bag is from Loft. Was it from Loft, Clarissa? I think so. 
It's kind of hard to tell because it's a uh, it's transparent. Okay, so let's go through this stuff. Okay, so she got me a pen case, and I believe this one was from Flying Tiger, and I love this because it's so slim, very portable. Um, I'd love to put like my fountain pens in here, maybe two of them. Okay, and it's like a it's almost like a, um, a suede type of material. So this one right here, a little something from Snoopy Town, Tokyo Kitty Land, and Daiso. Ooh, I wonder what this is. Uh, it's, a, it's a cute little envelope too. I hate that I'm gonna have to ruin it. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh, oh my gosh. So I've got a little, um, geisha that I can put on any bag if I want to which I will and then this is so cute thank you it's Snoopy I gotta make sure you're in focus there look at that oh he's slurping up ramen I love Snoopy I've been a lifelong peanuts fan ever since I was in second grade <laughs> oh I love it that is too adorable Okay, so looks like we have a traveler's notebook here of some sort. This also was from Flying Tiger, and she picked it. Well, I do like green. Green is one of my favorite colors, aside from purple. And it's a, it's kind of like a, a pleather, a little bit hard, but like inside is suede, and it comes with looks like three inserts, but it also has a folder. Okay, so the first one is grid, which I love. Look at that, how small that grid is second one is lined third one is dotted and these have a lot of sheets look at that this is really good i will definitely find some use out of this uh some i'm going to use this for something not not sure yet but i will okay so then we've got these other ones here let's turn it around oh look at this it's a sticker um now, Travelers, she told me Travelers Company does did a collab with the hotel that she had stayed at. And um, this is pretty amazing because this past New Year's, Travelers Company was um, giving away free stickers. Here, the U.S. one. They were giving away free stickers to the first 100 people that had made an order. I think it was on January 9th. I forget what day. And it was a limited edition letterpress sticker very similar to this um but it didn't come look at that with the two um paper clips take it out i'm not going to use the sticker i'm just going to keep it in the packaging because it's this is so special well i don't know we'll see i might if i do use it it'll be in my japan insert because i still have to finish that so this one has the sakura hold on i'm going to zoom in here or rather get close so you can see and there we go so we've got SA23 I'm not sure what the SA it means SA23 but a little street car I think the where the hotel was located she had said that it's known for their street cars which is really cute oh thank you love this all right so both of us and including one of our dear friends are very big fans of this particular print the great wave so <laughs> quick story is that when i left san francisco last october my thank you card to our dear friend was this print and so funny that she turns around and she gives me a souvenir postcard of this print <laughs> so it's kind of like almost like a loop so um yeah I'm going to put this one also up on my bulletin board. And then we have here, I can't remember, Clarissa, was this stickers? Where are my scissors? Ugh, sorry, if you can hear my stomach growling. Um, yes, it is growling, but I'm not hungry. I don't know what's going on. All right, so let's see what this is. I forgot the name of these characters she told me. Okay, this is probably a piece of gum. Okay. Aw, look at that. I'll put these on an insert for sure. 
They're so cute. And they're, um, they're foiled or rather prismatic. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, there we go. So you get four. No, you get five. There's another one. Hold on. Yep. There we go. So I wonder if Clarissa did um, Emmy or Leela get any of these? If so, I wonder what they got. They're totally cute. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably stick some on my laptop and then um, on an insert. So let me get rid of that. There's the gum. Okay, so moving on. And this was also a surprise. So as I said, she had mentioned that the hotel that she stayed at, one of them, did a collab with um, Traveler's Company. And as a, it was a surprise to her. She just saw this in the gift shop in the hotel. So this is such a beautiful insert. And then, of course, she had also included some stickers that she got. Um, I believe we're sharing the stickers because she also kept a set. So let's look at this insert. Like inserts like this, it's just hard to bring yourself to use them because they're so beautiful. You know, you kind of don't want to see, have a nice trip, <laughs> but it's gold foiled and it's blank. Oh, wow. The paper, I don't know why, but this paper feels different from a regular insert. I'm going to be posting a traveler's notebook, um, haul. So I'm going to compare because that paper definitely is different. It's much more smoother. And then here are the stickers that she included, which are gorgeous. Aha, I love this one, the food. Look at that. That's even more Japanese than what you normally get from like um, Daiso. I like that it's got the fish. And then, yeah, some of the other dishes that you don't normally see. But I love these kimono prints. Thank you. Let me put this away. Oh, let me put it in the back here. Okay. So the funny thing is, is that she would have sent this package earlier, but we had a snowstorm that turned into ice. And so it pretty much, um, made any kind of like mail delivery impossible here in Memphis for about a week. Yeah. I mean, fortunately it was more snow than it was ice. Well, it was snow all in the beginning. We got about five inches and, um, no, you know, we didn't lose power thankfully, thankfully, but we had like sub, we had like sub zero temperatures at some points. Uh, the wind chill got down to below zero and, um, yeah, thankfully our pipes didn't burst, but a lot of main water main lines around Memphis did. And so we ended up being on a, um, what was this on a, um, crap. Now I can't even think of what it's called. Like a, a an advisory, you know, we have to bo a boil water advisory. That's what we were under. So that really sucked, you know, cause you, yeah, you have to boil the water every time you had to do anything. It'll, well, except shower. So, okay. So I'm going to pull this out. Now this is what I'd asked Clarissa to get me. Okay. I got her. I mean, I sent her some money beforehand. I wanted a Del a Delphonics pouch. Now, when I went to Japan in 2017, um, the only place that I saw the Delphonics pouches were at Narita at the mall and in the airport. And there was two stores there that were selling them. But at that point I had like no more money and I really wanted one bad. So this time I, you know, I was like determined, I'm like Clarissa, if you can get this for me, that would be great. And she was able to get it. Now I did want the newer color that had just come out, which is the mint green, but they didn't have it in stock. So she got me gray, which is great because I love gray, you know, because it goes with every, every color. And what was surprising is one, the size of this. Uh, I mean, if this is a medium, this is huge. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Um, let me see here if it even says the size it doesn't on the back. It just says Delphonics and the, the model number. I'll have to look it up because I, I don't know if they make a large, if they do, but the great thing about this is not, is that it's a uh, coated, it's like a coated canvas. So, um, that's even better because it is waterproof. It does say it on here. It's waterproof. So that's really good. And um, if you're not familiar with Delphonics, a lot of like um, journalers, 
like to use this bag because it has so many um, pockets. You know, like there's a pocket here. I don't have a pen on hand. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's actually a cutter. So it has a pen on hand, I mean, a pen, pen loop type of thing here. You know, all these other little pockets. And then of course, then there's the inside, which also has a ton of pockets as well. Let me take that out. And there's stuff in the bag. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take it out. Let me just kind of arrange some of this stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna pull out here is this. So yes, I did ask for this. And if you're cur curious as to what it is, this is something that Clarissa had also been wanting to get too. Okay. Now I did pick one up similar somewhat from Japantown when I was there in October in San Francisco. And that's her texting me right now. <laughs> um, but this one is more special because of the fact that it was custom made by my dear friend. So it is a honko. A honko is a um, stamp seal that Japanese use in place of their signature for official documents, okay? So I had seen a video on YouTube years ago where you could get yours made from a machine in Don Quixote, okay? When I was there um, in Japan, I only got I only had one chance to be, well, I only had one time where I could go to Don Quixote, but I hardly had any time to look for the machine because if you've never been to Don Quixote, trust me, you will be so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that they have there. It, it's just, it's just mind boggling. Okay. And I only had 15 minutes and I, I was so distracted by everything that I, you know, that I saw trying to find the stupid machine. <laughs> I never got to find the machine. So I never got to make the honko. Okay. So the one that I have from Japantown hat, it's my name, but I believe it has an E at the end. And, um, my name is Joanne and I don't have an E at the end of my name. So, um, yeah, so this is the honko. So she, it's customized because she chose the case and she knew that I like purple. And then she also chose the, um, the style or the color of the honko itself, which is like this almost like luminous, um, selenite, you know, style of, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, but anyways, so it comes with the ink right here and we'll just use this envelope. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. We'll get the ink on there. Oh, let's do it this way. Yep. There we go. And man, my stomach is really growling. And there we go. So I've just got to play around with it a bit more and try to see if, first of all, what the placement is and um, get it right. So let me zoom in here. There we go. So that's it right there. So yeah, great. I don't have any tissue and I don't want to, you know, I'll wipe, I'll clean this later. That's the little kit that it comes with. And of course the, this little piece of paper here, it doesn't really have anything on it, but it came with it. So we're going to put this away and I, that's how it came out of the machine. She said it took about, what was it Clarissa? 10 minutes, something like that. I don't know. It took a while. And then she had to make hers too, which was, so she was there for quite a while. So the, um, hotel that she stayed at also in the gift shop had a uh, washi from, I believe that collab. So this one is really cute because it has, um, it's got like sake and other stuff. I think it's probably related to this, to the hotel, I guess. I'm not sure, but I'll do a washi sample, um, and post it up maybe on my Instagram. Okay. So she got me my favorite chips <laughs> from, uh, Calbee. And, um, this is the yeah, this one is really good. There's like two other flavors that I like. There's the seaweed one, and then there's, I think this is the seaweed one, I'm not sure. Um, and then there's also the Hokkaido butter, which is so good. But yeah, I'm so glad that she was able to get me, even if it's just one, it's still, it's from Japan. Okay, so I requested for pen um, refills from 
wherever she could get it from Tokyo hands or from, um, you know, uh, loft. And I think she got these from loft. So these are the high tech Coletto ones because I just bought a new, um, pen and it was funny because she thought that they had, there was something wrong with them because like this right here, she thought that was the ink coming out and it's not, that's actually the clicker for you to press down on for you to make the, you know, the pen come out kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so I was able to have her get me some of these. So I'm good for now. Um, I think they were cheaper than in, if I ordered them from um, Jet Pens. Because, you know, you still got to pay for shipping and all that stuff if you don't order a whole bunch. So what else we got here? Oh, yes. There's another one. Hold on. So this, these are the tea packs that she had shown on her video um, that she got. So actually this is the tea and this one is, um, coffee. This is a, um, whatever you call it, the pour over coffee. I've had these also in Japan, especially like in the hotel, they always provide some and <laughs> they take, the coffee is really, really good, surprisingly. And that's just like coffee from the hotel, right? So, um, yeah, so now I have this one to try, which is a Roja tea and I'm eager to try these and see how, you know, they taste. So she also got me this, which is um, restaurant style ramen. This is shoyu tonkatsu. I hope it tastes as good as it looks here. So there's two servings of it. So there's the instructions on how to um, make it as well. Can't wait, especially when it's really, really cold again. Now this one is also um, tea. I love this packaging. This would look really good on an insert as the cover. I could do that. I'll probably, I could, um, you know, do it on maybe even the inside of the cover, but yeah, there's, I believe how many packs. So this is, um, Jim matcha. Okay. I think there's probably, I don't know. It doesn't say this is brown rice tea. Huh? Well, either way, still going to try it, Clarissa. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the bag. This is from Meiji Temple because she did go. And what she got me, and I had requested because I wasn't able to, um, when I went to Japan last time, was buy the charms from the temples. So I have, wow, that's kind of interesting because the bags, this one's from Senjoji, but this one's from Senji. Yeah. And then she said this one was from Meiji. Okay, let's look at the one from Meiji. I might have to trans get, translate the what it says on the bags. So, uh, okay. So I had requested for charms that were for love, health, and wealth, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay, here we go. So this one is for good health from... Um, Sensoji temple. Okay. And these are charms that have been blessed by the monks, you know, so this one I can put in my wallet. I know that they do that. They'll have a charm from the temple and they will also put it in their wallet. Right. Okay. So it's good health. This one is for good fortune. Okay. From Meiji. And it's special because she bought it on New, on New Year's Eve. And that's something that a lot of Japanese do is they go visit the temple on, um, temple shrines on New Year's Eve, you know, to pay their respects. So this one is so cute. And the fact that it's all gold, it's really pretty. I love this. Thank you. Okay. Let me put them back in the bag so that I don't mix them all up. It's like you can't go to Japan and not go and see one of the shrines or the temples, especially if you're in Tokyo. Meiji is like a big one, and so is Senjoji because of the fact that it's in um, Asakusa. Those are, to me, are like the two biggest ones to go to. And then they have a lot of other various ones. There's one that I really want to go see next time, which would be one that's dedicated to anime, which I think is really funny. So you can buy the charms, and they're all anime-related. So this one is... Good fortune from Sanjoji. So this one I can hang up as well. Wealth, you know, but I like the little bell. Listen, it's sweet. 
It's not, it's not annoying at all. I love that bell. And then the last one here is for love relationships from Sinjoji. I love the fact that both of us now have been to the same temple. I, never, I didn't get the chance to go to Meiji, but I did go to Sinjoji. Okay, so this one is for love, and it's really pretty. Look at that pink. So I can also hang this one up as well. So it's kind of good that I she got these for me, and it's the beginning of the year, you know? So, so yeah. Basically, I believe... Oh, no, there's one more thing. So let me these back in. Okay. One more thing here. It's not very big. In fact, when I saw it, I wasn't even sure what it was. So she put it in these. Do you guys remember this? If you have been into scrapbooking, journaling, you know, junk journaling, you'll recognize this. This is probably one of the free folders, not free, the one dollar, the dollar spot folders from Target, right, Clarissa, from years ago. <laughs> I still have tons of them. So this was a map that was um, available um, to people that were staying at one of the hotels that she stayed at. And it's hand drawn and it's printed on probably, you know, from a color printer, but isn't this cute? I mean, this is something that the hotel had provided to people you know, based off of where they were staying. So her, the hotel was right here. So um, as you can see, it's like, this is how far Asakusa is from, but where she stayed at, it was very close to Harajuku, to the Meiji Shrine, to Rapungi, you know, and then it's showing the different lines that, you know, you would take and stuff. But I just thought this was so cute, you know, and this would look really, really good inside of a, an A5 insert, you know, because that's obviously this is letter size paper, but yeah, this is adorable. And look at that, how they drew um, the little, you know, the girl and stuff. And then you've got like the Buddha, you know, Yokohama, um, Tokyo Tower, Sky Tree, all the different um, places. So yeah, that is the happy mailbox that I got from Paramia. And I want to say thank you so much for being able to get all this stuff for me and gifting me and um, to everybody else. Happy New Year's, happy 2024, Year of the Dragon. So let's hope that this year is gonna be really, really good to us. All right, so everybody have a good weekend, have a good week, bye.